We're now joined by one of the leaders of the entire 2024 Arizona football team, the great Gunnar Maldonado. Now, Gunnar, I have to apologize. You're to damn you. right he does, because he got slandered too much last year for our liking. I apologize. Now, we put it out on Twitter many, many times. The hashtag MyBadGunner movement is in full effect. <laughs> Gunner, you are much better, and you are absolutely fantastic. You were a huge part of what Arizona did last year, and I salute emoji you, my friend. I appreciate that, bro. Yeah. Now, <laughs> now, now listen, well, listen Gunner had a fantastic season last year. You know, obviously, you ended up the season really, really strong. With that, capped off with that performance in the Alamo, Alamo Bowl. What changed about midway through the year? It looked like, you know, maybe at the beginning of the year, it wasn't as clean as you would like. It, but then it, towards the end of the year, you really put it together. Um, I think just uh, sticking to the plan, trusting my coaching. Um, but I think at the same time, you know, um, things happen in the game, and you just gotta play the next play. And I think that's something I had to learn early on in the year, and I think I did better at that uh, in the second half. But yeah, just trusting my coaches, trusting my teammates, and just. Uh, it's not trying to do too much, just letting it come to me. When, right. you, when you talk about trust, uh, Dwayne Aquina obviously staying on staff, how, how big is that for you as your development continues to grow? Yeah, no, that's huge. Um, I feel like I developed, I developed like tenfold just in the time he's been here, you know, in terms of like my other years of college. So in terms of like my development, he's a huge key. And I just learned so much about football. Um, you know, from him. So I'm just continuing to learn and grow. Can you talk about the synergy with all the safeties? I mean, you you got two really good ones that you're flanked by as well, obviously, in Genesis Smith, Dalton Johnson. But just talk about the three, like the camaraderie that you three all have. You all announced you were coming back together. You're, you know, three of the best players on the defense. Talk about that a little bit. Um. Yeah, so me, Stoops, and Dalton, and Genesis, really, we, uh, we're really close. Even off the field, we're really yeah. close. So um, you know, when the whole situation happens, we were kind of having those discussions amongst each other, you know, because um, we kind of wanted to stay together. And at the end of the day, you know, talking with Noah and T-Mag and Manu and all those guys, um, you know, Arizona is right at home for us. Right? Right. We didn't want to go nowhere else. And we love Tucson. We love the university. We love, you know, the people who support us. And so we wanted to show that. So right. you, have a, you have a big opportunity to experience new environments in the yeah. Big 12. Uh, what oh, yeah, have you heard yeah, yeah. so far from maybe other players around or even around here about like some of the the most hostile environments? Right, right. Um, I heard I heard UCF gets pretty lit. Um, okay. I heard that's gonna be a fun. One. I was talking to some of the guys oh, uh, right. in the locker room. We uh, I would not have expected UCF to be in that mix. Putting on the putting on the uniform. So I'm excited for that one. Um, I, I haven't talked to no like Kansas State players, but that's a game that's uh, getting a lot of hype and stuff. And Man Manhattan's uh, supposedly a great spot to play at. So uh, looking forward to that one. Yes, sir. Cool. I appreciate you. Gunner Maldonado, again, my bad, Gunner. I apologize, man. Keep making us proud and making me look stupid. Appreciate <laughs> yes, you. Appreciate you.